So where do you see now that the most noteworthy uses of AI exist in order to solve the world's problems? I know that you've been very active as an investor. What have you invested in that fits this lens? Well, because of my own background in AI, having worked on it for 40 years, um, my, my company, Sinovation Ventures, has been investing in AI for the last eight years, which is longer than most VCs. And we've made about uh, 55 investments. And we're very proud that seven of our 55 companies are now unicorns. And uh, these cover all kinds of areas from autonomous vehicles to AI semiconductor uh, to AI uh, medicine, uh, healthcare, AI education, uh, and also the use of AI in um, security uh, and computer vision. So it spans almost everything. Uh, but right now, this moment, I'm most excited about two fields. Uh, and they're both really important because they're AI for good. And they're both relevant to the current pandemic environment. The first one is healthcare, and the second one is education. So in healthcare, we've seen investments that are building AI technologies that can do diagnosis in certain areas better than people. We've invested in companies building AI drugs and even vaccine for COVID-19, making great progress uh, above and beyond and working with humans who are more creative, but AI can uh, optimize better. But um, even more interestingly is, uh, is education. Education is an area where I know in a lot of countries, people are frustrated with uh, Zoom-based uh, AI classrooms because they're transforming a fit off uh, an offline physical classroom to be online. It's just not quite right. But China has embraced uh, online education for some time. We actually invested in the first AI unicorn uh, called VIP Kid for teaching English. And all the Chinese education companies have learned that in order to embrace a new medium like online um, education, you can't just broadcast a talking head uh, and maybe with some slides on the side. You've got to use individuality, learn about the individual student, target the students to teach his or her weaknesses to improve them, uh, even incorporate uh, digital teachers and simulated teachers and um, give assignments and adjust improve pronunciation in areas where they need it and introduce cartoon animated characters to make it fun. So we're most proud that some of our investments have demonstrated that students using online education are achieving higher scores than the offline counterparts. And actually they're also engaging more in class. And I think this development of combining uh, virtual and real using te teachers to do what they teach best, which is human connection, um, and, and then using AI to teach aspects which are optimizing and individual targeting, I think that's going to potentially revolutionize education. 